What's up YouTube? I am redoing my high angle turns video on 10.6.1. There were a lot of things in the release notes about uh, better unprotected lefts and better intersections, things like that. So I'm really hoping that this video is more of a success than the last one. Uh, I'll link the last one in the card. It was the one with traffic. Okay, so we're stopping at the line. We're creeping forward. We are creeping more part like towards the perpendicular uh, line here. That's interesting. And it's definitely seeing this truck. It's waiting on it. It's pretty like stop and go. Oh, that wasn't good. Uh, but overall, not terrible. Uh, definitely better than the traffic one. <laughs> so uh, let's see how the next try does. Okay, here's attempt number two. Again, we're we're going from Para Avenue onto Bolton Road. It's a high degree right turn. Let's see, there's no traffic on this one, so it should just stop at the line, which it's getting really good at at this point. I like this. Oh, I'm not sure if that was a... Okay. I was worried it was going to curb me, but again, it's showing some weird, like, stopping behavior in the middle of the, the maneuver. That's interesting. All right, here's attempt number three. Let's, let's see if it can uh, take it normally. Uh, I'll link the first video that I ever did of this uh, up in a card here. Uh, it performed it flawlessly almost the entire video, which really surprised me. Um, and so I was hoping for something like that with traffic this time. It does seem like uh, Tesla uses my data in their, uh, in their training at this point, because I feel like it's, it's definitely doing what I would like it to about like getting in, getting up perpendicular with the road line and even at a tight angle, which is great. Um, but we're still not there yet. We're still stopping in the intersection. I'll do it one more time. Okay, here's the, I believe, fourth attempt. Um, I'm going to do a snapshot this time, just so that Tesla is getting this data. Let's see, we're going up close again, and we're just stopping in the middle. That's that's got to change. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give them the snapshot. Uh, okay, we're we're seeing pretty consistent results with this, so I'll do the uh, the next one. Let's do the turn this way. I wanted to point this out uh, before I go. This traffic is obstructing the the traffic over there, and so I de I decided to sit here, and even that's making me nervous just because of the crazy hill, which I'll show to the back. Um, this is just a, a situation where I would never want to be in, whether we're using autonomous vehicles or or human drivers. I feel like this this is a dangerous situation that should just be avoided at all times, and uh, I don't know. It's going to be hard to train a neural network to do that and honestly to train people to do that as well uh this road was built here for a reason there's a house uh to my you know rear right and uh it is a nice little cut through if you if you need to uh do so uh but it definitely seems like a situation that you know needs to be avoided and and should be if if possible okay so here's our first uh left onto parrot from bolton on 10.6.1. Let's let's see what we get here. Okay, uh, not very good middle turn lane behavior at all. Turn was way smoother. Still a little uncomfortable, but smoother. But the middle turn lane it, it did so much better on 10.5. Okay, let's see here. This is attempt number two at the middle turn lane. Okay, still not... I think it's because the line back there is solid. But my question is, why is it even attempting it? Okay, I'm overriding with the accelerator. And I'm even taking over. The I think the truck spooked it. I don't know why it would even decide to go if the truck spooks it. So far, I'm seeing a regression here. Okay, here's attempt number three. So it really shouldn't matter what the lane lines look over here. This is what this turn lane is for. Okay, that was great. We're still 
still seeing a little bit of jerky wheel behavior. It shouldn't be turned yet. You only should turn the wheel whenever you've committed. Uh, there was a really great tweet from Phil Koopman. This is going to be interesting. We actually have a person to our left. I believe I have the right of way. It should not be this jumpy. This is one of those planner errors, I think, where you're making so many decisions in milliseconds. Okay, well, it did do it. A little wide there. I'd say that was a success, but it, it definitely seems like it's a regression from 10.5. I'm gonna snapshot it just so they see. Okay, while I'm waiting right here, I'll uh, go ahead and say what I was saying about Phil Koopman. Uh, he's a, uh, an autonomous uh, driving safety uh, expert that studies at, or that teaches at Carnegie Mellon. Um, he was pointing out that uh, the wheel should never move until you're deciding to, to go or you're in the maneuver. Uh, because if anyone hits you from behind, then you'll go into traffic. And so FSD should never have its wheel turned before it's actually maneuvering. I do think that's kind of dangerous. Okay, so now we're we're getting in the middle turn lane way better now. We are clear, and this is just wild. The cars behind me are understandably freaking out, and we're regressing on the turn. This is interesting. Okay, well, I think that's enough for that. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the uh, unprotected left now. Okay, so this is our first unprotected left attempt. Uh, I'm curious what it's going to do over here with the... Uh, you know, with the angle, because it it would it would help me see better if it would go over here. But it definitely can see, as you can see from the 360 camera, if it just goes straight. But it also looks really weird, like you're going into the intersection. And at least what happened last time is it it got in the way of these trucks, and it's about to now. I'm gonna back up if it. Yeah. So you see that truck changed lanes. Okay, now we're clear. We can wait here. Okay, that's not good. Very jerky. You can call it a success, but that's... The driver should not be driving like that. Alright, here's attempt number two at the unprotected left. Let's see if it's a bit more decisive this time. It's been stopping in the middle of the maneuver, and that's just... It's really dangerous for everyone involved. It needs to wait back behind the road until it is certain that it can complete the entire maneuver. Okay, we're clear this direction. We are clear the other direction. Let's see how well it does now. Still just really jerky. That was better. Okay, let's try it one more time. This is the unprotected left. We do have a lead car. Let's see what they do. They are going left as well. So you see how they come in perpendicular with the road? That not only allows them to see really great to the right, but it also allows them, just in case the cars stack up there, that you can go horizontally across and then, you know, a quick left and stack behind. So that's a great example of what we can do. We do have a lot of traffic coming the other direction. This whole stop and go situation on our side is just, I don't like it. We should be where the other car was. We're at least stopped in a good situation. We are clear. We are in the middle of the road. And I overrode with the accelerator and I'm still disengaging. This is just crazy. Major regression from 10.5. All right, I'm gonna see how it handles this middle turn lane here and see if it does take it properly. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, here's hoping that 10.7 is, uh, 
better for me. But as you guys can see in my neighborhood and uh, you know, crazy Atlanta roads, it's, it still needs a lot of work. Thanks for watching.